Howdy guys, how's it going? So with summer right around the corner, it is that time of year where it's time to spray down some of our most used uh, clothing and gear items that we're going to be taking out into the field with us with a uh, good heavy dose of permethrin because uh, this year especially, ticks have just exploded. Like they are just, they're everywhere. Uh, a few weeks ago, uh, we went camping uh, to a certain spot, I'll throw up the thumbnail, and just with them being there a very short amount of time, found five to eight ticks crawling on me. Uh, then I took and sprayed down the clothing that I was going to be sleeping in with some permethrin and didn't have a single one uh, show their ugly little head. So, need to take and cover up a lot more of uh, my clothing and stuff that I'm going to be wearing uh, this spring, summer, and into the fall season. I've also got my Snug Pack bivy. Uh, this is the Snug Pack Jungle Bag. Those are the only two pieces of gear that I'm going to treat at this exact time and moment. And there's also some other clothing items that uh, I just couldn't really fit uh, fit out here. I've got my VM or 6AM Outdoors uh, tarp underneath it uh, because that is one tip and one thing I like to do uh, myself is instead of hanging these up and spraying them down in that fashion, I like to lay them out on one of the tarps that I know that I'm going to be using. Uh, one, because this helps the permethrin settle down onto the clothing uh, more evenly, and I feel like you don't really get uh, nearly as much waste as you would because whenever you got something hanging up and you spray it, uh, even if, you know, if your application is pretty close up uh, to whatever it is that you're coating with it, you still do lose a decent bit that uh, just ends up kind of falling down on the ground. Um, you want to make sure that it's not a windy day. Right now, we're just getting an occasional uh, breeze, probably two, three miles an hour, so that ain't going to hurt us none. And then uh, I guess the other thing I should mention is whenever you do do this lay flat method, uh, what you want to do is you want to tote, <clears throat> you want to coat uh, the, uh, the top side of whatever garment it, that it is, give it time uh, to uh, dry for a bit, then flip it over and do the opposite side. Um, that way this stuff can just really settle in uh, to the fabrics. And then what I always use to uh, treat my clothing is the uh, the Sawyer permethrin. Uh, some people call it permethrin, permethrin, uh, same same gist that right there is your active ingredients list um, all of these right here are the same these are just in aerosol cans and then these right here are ones that uh, you shake and then you have to put the uh, the spray nozzle on the top uh, but one thing i wanted to show you guys and mention in case you're not aware is they also make some uh, spray on insect repellent um, and a lotion so i've not tried the lotion yet i, I think that's uh, something that might be new to this year or just something i've overlooked up until this point uh, but the spray does work very well and this is like one of the few um, on body sprays i've found that does a great job of actually repelling ticks uh, i'm fortunate in that normally i don't really get bothered by mosquitoes or um, most of the other pest insects out there but the last thing you want is to get suckled on by a tick and then end up with lyme disease so this is what we got this is a can that's actually left over from last year hence why there's a bit of rust on the outside so we'll get to uh using it first and then the clothing that i'm wearing right now i've already treated these boots i just realized i left the other pair of boots that i need to spray in the house so i'll have to go get those in a second um, but we'll hop right in and start with our uh, snug pack and so here is our snug pack stratosphere uh used this quite a few times already and because it has this hooped in up here at the head area it's really nice for the warmer months uh, because you can just unzip it and have this face ventilation but before we do that with something like this and what i've found with my other bivvies because i've also got to bring my usmc bivvy out and spray it because it'll, it'll be the other one that i use some this season um, but when it really comes down to this lower body area, I don't go too crazy with um, how much that I coat it. I just like to kind of give that a good dusting. But what's really, really important is to take and fold these sides over around where the zipper area is. So I like to give that a nice thick coat and this one goes about two-thirds the way down then open that up because that is going to be where ticks or any other insects that you're concerned with are going to be able to get in same thing going up into the creases and crevices around our face and head area
from the base. And then come to the back side. Even though nothing can really get in here, just to deter tissue stuff from getting and being around your head area on the outside of your back, because it can be easy to rub up against it. And then drag them inside with you. For a shelter system like this, that is really all you need to do and all you need to worry about. Like, do not uh, worry yourself about like flipping this thing over and coating the underside. It's really not necessary at all. That's not going to uh, really do much in the way of preventing ticks. Uh, you know, if you set up somewhere and there's ants around, then I mean, maybe uh, that could deter them some. But if you're setting up, just avoid ants altogether. I forgot to hit the record button on that, but yeah, I just went down the, uh, the zipper line on the sleeping bag. Didn't give it a nice coating up top here. Um, if you want to, you can take your hand and kind of smear any of those drips in so they don't stay too concentrated at one spot. But sleeping bag is done, so now we can move on to some of our uh, clothing items. And we'll take in uh, spray this pair of boots. This is uh, the Garmont uh, T8 Extreme Evo. Uh, these are Gore-Tex line boots, so whenever it's going to be really rainy, I'll wear these. I got good breathability. Um, and then this is the pair that I'm going to be wearing uh, the most this summer when it gets really hot, because this is another pair of Garmont tactical boots that's uh, extremely breathable and fast drying. But sometimes it's good to just uh, keep your feet away from uh, water as much as possible. So anytime I do my boots, make sure to get in really good in the creases and crevices of the tongue, right inside around your ankle. And then other than that, you know, I do tend to give my boots a bit of a heavier coat. And a lot of times I'll go back after the first coating is dry and spray them again because uh, a lot of where you're going to run into ticks is by scraping it up on your boots and around your ankles in tall grass. So if you can deter them from this area, then you're normally going to be golden. Here is a garment that I've been kind of on the fence about coating. Uh, this is the Arctis Mountain Smock. Uh, absolutely love this thing and uh this coming week and even the week after that uh, our nights are still going to be dipping down uh, a couple nights it's going to be getting down to the high 30s um and then a solid like week and a half of getting down uh to like 41 42 degrees so this is still very much um applicable to what the weather is uh, kind of going back and forth on right now um so i'm going to go ahead and do it so that I can continue to wear and enjoy this as much as possible. Just want to kind of focus down here at the waistline and the armpits, neck and head area, and then around your cuffs of your wrist. Let me flip that over here in a minute. And also, too, because I'm going to be spraying the uh, Greek Lizard Arctis pants that match this set. So the pants will get pushed a lot further in the summer than this will. Uh, but there's a good chance I still might pack this on the outside of my pack. Just because it's the weight of it's something really nice to throw on in the evenings. Because during the summer, even if it's in the, the 80s and 90s, uh, during the day, but then it dips down, you know, into the mid 50s at night. That drastic temperature change really, um, it's a lot more noticeable after you get acclimated to the warmer temps of the day. I do plan on wearing uh, some boonie hats more this year. I've already sprayed my uh, baseball cap that I wear all the time. Uh, this is a Fire Force Venture uh, boonie. It's actually the matching Subtarn camo that, that goes with the pants that I have on. These get it really good and coated around your brim area because ticks seem like they always just want to migrate up to your noggin. So get that coated nice and good. And then I've been uh, trying out these one saber boonies. Um, right here is the uh, the OD green. 
or four screen and then there is a multi-cam uh, but I, I found these and really like them because the inside is reversible to blaze orange so if you're hunting or you need to use it to uh, mark something at camp or around camp uh, or you know for emergency signaling it's just a nice dual purpose design and they seem to be wearing pretty comfortably and not causing my head to overheat. Let's take and switch it up. We'll use one of the spray bottles just to make sure that you shake this stuff up good, get everything mixed together. Um, so yeah, from left to right right here, this is my Arctis uh, Greek Lizard Ranger pants. Um, this pair of pants right here is some I got from Military First uh, about a month ago. Outdoor tactical pants. Uh, I feel like this is going to be one of my main go-to summer pants because these are just a very, very lightweight uh, material. And then these are my Hardland uh, Hardland Tactical Multicam Pants. I actually uh, used these, or I treated these in the last for me from video we did last year. Um, and I mean, as you can see, I've wore these a ton, still holding up great. Um, so I'm going to be coating them again. The the biggest tip that I can give you guys uh, that I see overlooked a lot is so whenever you are coating your pants, make sure that when you're around the ankle. That you go up inside the pants a bit and spray the inside because uh, i mean i like to wear my pants over my boots instead of tucked in my boots so having a good few inches of the inside of your ankle cuff down here really soaked good in the pomethrin um i mean it stops ticks in their tracks so just make sure you pay special close attention to that area Inside the same thing for the waistline. We'll get the back here in a minute. Then just rinse and repeat with our other pants. Finally, moving on to uh, some of my favorite uh, shirts to wear in hot weather. Um, this one right here, this is a Wind Rider um, sun hoodie. Same with that white one right there. And then, you probably can't quite see it right now, but that gray button-up shirt. And then this uh, unique camo button-up shirt uh, is a Cordia Hunting. These things, it's like wearing air for a shirt. Um, they are all super good at help keeping uh, like keeping your body temp low. Um, but now one question I do that I've got a lot is you know like will permethrin uh, even adhere to this uh, you know silky soft type material? Uh, it absolutely does. It adheres uh, to this material uh, just as good as, as cotton or any of these other synthetics. Um, but I do understand where some of you uh, some people would um, question that. Just coat this up really good at the hood, armpit. Since these are a looser fit around the waistline, it's also good to kind of get up in here underneath the bottom a bit, around your cuffs. Just in the neckline.
Well, guys, that pretty much does it. I mean, it's that simple. Uh, now, the only thing that I will uh, do is um, give these garments a bit of time to dry. I went over there. The bivy is already dried. The boots, uh, like I saturated them pretty good. So, it will take a bit, but they're already done. Um, and then, yeah, just go back, flip these over, do the back sides. Um, and that's even quicker because I've already went and got inside the waistline and around the cuffs, around the collar. And uh, those are really just uh, the hot zones that you want to focus on and uh yeah depending on how much you're out i personally i do not spray my packs because i cycle through a bunch of different packs um and i've never really had that be an issue i mean if a tick or something gets on my pack uh I, they don't really want to bother me none because i've got everything of mine coated with permethrin um but yeah still i do have uh, quite a few more uh, garments and everything that I'm testing out that I, I need to uh, coat and spray in permethrin um, as well as I might go back and do my vertex uh, Arizona bag it also has the zippy in um, bug net around the face and um, another thing too it's like if you have a go-to tent like if you have like you know a single tent that you uh, you know like use a lot in the summer um, then by all means you can take and spray around uh, the bathtub for into that on the outside around the zippers uh, may even coat the mesh a bit depending on how fine a mesh it has uh, and do the rain fly as well uh, I think you also need to take into account where you live like what region you're in and uh, how big of a risk ticks and other insects are um, you know here we got spiders mosquitoes uh, all of the common things but ticks uh, to me is really the um, the biggest biggest worry just because of how many uh have been found to carry lyme disease <clears throat> and lyme disease can uh put you down for quite a bit uh regardless of how healthy or what age you are so um just wanted to cover everything there um i've never ever had a need to uh to spray a hammock um if you're paranoid about uh certain insects or something uh bothering you um in a hammock then you know, you can treat this the same as you would a tent or as I did with this bivy. But yes, that is going to do it for this one. Um, I will make sure to link to the Sawyer, uh, the exact Sawyer products that um, I've used in this video. And uh, for any of you guys that are curious about any of the clothing and you want to check it out for yourself, I will uh, try to remember to put links to that and to the Snug Pack stuff. Thanks for watching. Make sure you thumbs up button, subscribe if you have not already. Share the channel and the videos with your friends, family, anybody enjoys good old outdoor activities or gear. Uh, if you are new, go check out all my other videos. Lots and lots of uh, overnight or camping videos and uh, gear videos and things of the like. Uh, hit me up in that comment section, thoughts, opinions, any questions that you may have um, about the, uh, the topic, the subject of today's video. And uh, yeah, guys, till the next one, adios.